guys welcome to my channel actually this is my first live in this uh, channel of mine and my name is Lilian Cooper I'm your abundance life coach and relationship coach for the day and today I just want to share with you um, how to manifest love that you deserve now as a relationship coach I I receive a lot of um, you know questions from the friends and you know some one of my clients and how to manifest the real love that we deserve and today I have a good news for you I want to share with you the seven steps how to manifest love. The first step is you need to reframe your mindset into positivity. Because when you choose um, a good quality of thoughts in your subconscious mind, the positive thoughts can change your life. The positive thoughts will attract a positive results. If you keep thinking positive, you are drawing the positive energy into your life. So keep thinking positive. Keep positive. Because there is a power in positive thinking. When you keep uh, thinking positive, it brings you more farther to where you are right now. And the second step is be clear. So your intention and uh, think that uh, what is it that you really want to manifest what is it that you really want in your life so you have to be clear of your intentions so if you want to to manifest a man to marry you make it sure that your intention pleasing to God also because you cannot try to manifest a man to marry you especially if a man is married and you know a married man is not pleasing to God if you want to, to manifest his love to you so God cannot bless you with that so be clear in your intention and make sure that all your intentions and all that you want is pleasing to God and the third step is is uh, how to overcome block in manifestation the blocks what are blockage in the process of manifestation uh, one of the worst thing that is holding or, or blocking your blessing is when you are hindering from your past hindering means you still have the grudges you're holding grudges you're, you still have, uh, you're holding pain, your hurts from the past. And um, my advice to you is you have to remove all that grudges. Learn to forgive and learn to let go. You need to let go because your manifestation will not come. You cannot achieve success and manifestation if you are holding your grudges, holding your unforgiveness. So actually, in the Bible, God wants us to be free in our spirit. So if your heart is free, your mind is free, your soul is free, then God will give you the blessing to manifest the love that you deserve. And uh, the fourth step is you need to ask God. If you are single uh, women out there, if you want a husband, ask God to give it to you. Because God, is, He is the Father of relationship. And He knows what He can give you. He knows what is best for you in life. He knows that um, He knows the right man for you. So, the best thing is to ask God. And this is the universe. You know, the universal law of attraction. The law of attraction is real. So... God is always involved in everything that we want and we need. 
If we call and ask God, we all have His guidance and uh, everything we can manifest. God for God is good. And um, the five, the fifth steps is you need to speak blessing to yourself. You need to visualize that this time I'm going to win. This time I'm going to have a right relationship, a right man who will love me, who will marry me. And this time I will be loved. Because um, the more you send out love, you will also receive the love. Whatever you send out, then you shall receive. The Bible says, Love your neighbor as yourself. So if you don't love yourself and you don't even respect yourself, you cannot love others. You cannot manifest love because you need to love yourself first. The foundation of love must start within you. So if you want to manifest love in your life, then start, lo start loving yourself. Okay, and... Um, the step six is you need to raise your vibration of love. What does that mean? The energy of love, you need to draw that energy to you. Because when you want to manifest, you need to visualize that this time I need to be happy. I choose to be happy. So you need to raise your vibration of love. That means... You need to stay away from being angry, from being hatred or arrogance. You need to stay away from this kind of energy, from this kind of attitude. You need to be kind to yourself. Raise your vibration of love. The, the higher energy that you raise, because love is the secret of manifestation. If your love is down, if your energy is low, you cannot hit the, the target of manifestation because the manifestation of love, you need to raise your vibration of love. It's like when you are negative, you want to manifest love. It, it won't work like that. You need to be positive to hit the target of manifestation. So when you want to manifest love, you need to raise your vibration of love. Uh, you need to um, have that kind of energy, a strong energy of love, so that you can hit the target of manifestation, the love that you desire, the love that you want. So the secret of manifestation is you need to be happy every day. Choose to be happy and uh, try to keep affirming yourself. And uh, you need to be kind to yourself. You need to show the unconditional love to everyone. Because when you always show unconditional love, you will also receive the same. And uh, this is how manifestation works. Whatever you send out, you will also receive. So the law of attraction is whatever you sow, you will also reap the same. So always show unconditional love. Even to the person who hurt you, who, who have done wrong to you, it's okay. But still, show unconditional love. Even to your previous partner or boyfriend uh, who done uh, who wrong to you or, or who hurt you much, still show unconditional love. Because love is a secret uh, to manifest love in return. And that's uh, how uh, God will bless you when you show unconditional love. Love, uh, God is always looking what's inside to your heart, not the things that of what you did. So whatever is in our heart, is, this is more important to, to give. And the last is have an attitude of gratitude. Why? Keep thanking it is more important in manifestation. Because when you keep thanking, when you have the attitude of gratitude, you will manifest even more blessing. 
And that's what uh, you know. God says that if you keep thinking what I have done, that means you are releasing your faith, and you will you are believing that you are going to receive more blessing, receive more abundance in love, receive more abundance in life. So to have an attitude of gratitude is very important. And that is also a secret. So try to keep thinking, just be happy, and try to visualize that you have manifested the love that you desired already in your life. Keep visualizing that you are winning, that you deserve, that you are worthy to receive the abundance of love in your life. And uh, just be happy and hope. Uh, this text helps you and if you have any question please drop me an email or uh, just try to visit my website and please don't forget to subscribe and hit that button subscribe down there and uh, I'll see you on my next video and be positive be creative and live with passion God bless you